Before we can start, we need an understanding of what exactly a paradox is. A paradox is an argument or an event that produces an inconsistent result. The inconsistency is normally related to the logic within the problem. Here's an example of a paradox. Say you won the lottery and you had billions to spare. Using your billions, you hired an elite team of scientists, mathematicians, and engineers to design and build a time machine for your use. Your time machine is finished now and you want to visit your great-great-grandfather whom you've never met before. So you go back in time to meet him, and it just so happens you get to him while he's still a kid. He's a pretty cool guy, like yourself, and you two do daring and risky things with each other. One day you accidentally get your great-great-grandfather killed. Now here's where the problem kicks in. If your great-great-grandfather is dead, then there's no way you could have been born because your great-grandfather and your father now cease to exist, which means they couldn't have married to give birth to you. But if you died, then how could you have gone back to meet your great-great-grandfather? There is now this never-ending loop of your world, and you have no idea whether you exist or not. There are two ways you can exist now. 1. You time traveled to a parallel dimension and accidentally killed your great-great-grandfather there, only affecting their universe and not yours, leaving you unharmed. But in order for this to happen, you must have a time machine to hop between dimensions and not time. Or 2. You accidentally killed your entire universe because there is no way you both can exist at one time. You broke the world. This is an example of a paradox because now there is this forever looping of two possible sides in the universe. Sadly, because of this, time machines will probably never come into existence because of this very problem. And even if they do, the law enforcement or some other official will not allow the average person to own one because of all the stupid yet incredible things you can do with a time machine.